When the echo stops, is that the end of the line? Should I, should I settle for just fine? I'm out of my mind. Hello, my name is Nasuka Sakura. Welcome to Hanayume, my Animal Crossing New Horizons island. Some of you might recognize the entrance because I am horribly addicted to Nukazan. Why is everything so expensive? Anywho, today I'd like to take you on a tour of Hanayume's Ryonkan Onsen, a traditional Japanese hot spring hotel, albeit ours has many modern elements mixed in. Let me just take down this fence and we are on our way. One of the first things you'll notice about the grand entrance are umbrella motifs of the four seasons, a common trend in Japanese art and architecture. They are mono no oware, things appreciated for their transient or fleeting quality. The waterscaping with fountains are my own design inspired by hot spring geysers. To the left is a nice sitting area overlooking the in-progress Hanamachi, Geisha Entertainment District, whose restaurants and tea houses nourish and attract customers. I also wanted to separate these areas on different topographical levels to respectfully distance the concepts of onsen geisha from okiya geisha profession. As we head inside, please notice the level directly beneath the building lined in beautiful hydrangeas. Onsen-san, I'm here! Oh, welcome. Irashai mase. This is Onsen-san. She's a tentative mama, whose birthday is an attempt at a Japanese play on words for water. Get it? Three is san? The katakata for san looks like me? As in, mizu? Mizu is water? Never mind. Good morning, nasuka -san. The onsen has been reserved for the convenience of your tour today. Thank you for choosing us. <laughs> of course, this is my creation. I mean, after all, I even made you. Eh? Nothing. Ah, uh, well... Here are your relaxation articles, customized for our most noted patron. Oh, Pink, you know me so well. I am glad it pleases you. Is there anything else I can do for you? No, this is wonderful. Thank you. I will leave the onsen to you then. Please look favorably on us. I am sorry for not bowing. I slipped while cleaning yesterday and threw out my back. Actually, I've just not unlocked that reaction yet. Eh? Nothing. See you. Itekimasu. Welcome to the entrance hall. The decor is mostly dark polished woods and golds inspired by the mid and late 20th century. Much like the colors of the building's exterior, to the right of the check-in counter is a playful reference to Spirited Away by Studio Ghibli. It is important to note, however, that Spirited Away features a sento bathhouse and not an onsen hot spring, though both involve public bathing. To the left is the made-to-order cafe bar, Prepackaged beverages and snacks can be purchased from vending machines here as well. Drinking cold milk after a hot bath is a popular craving in Japan, so I've read. In place of curtains, there are scrolls above each doorway, abstractly labeling the men's bath, women's bath, and toilet facilities. Please pardon the gendered color coding in this. I didn't want to use more custom design slots. I wanted to keep the separate baths interesting, 
and to use my favorite color pink without making the design too pink that it detracts from the, the modern aesthetic. The subjects are also mm, puns. All right, let's get changed. Since Animal Crossing characters transformed a dress, I didn't think it was necessary to focus on changing rooms, so let's just transform in a stall. The tiles used are color-coded as gender-neutral. You'll notice modesty screens that still let in soft natural lighting. Now that we're properly dressed in a lounge yukata for the season, let's head to the women's bath. Obviously, the pink bathing room is my favorite. I actually wanted to use the pink tile for my personal bathroom, but there are so many nice pink rose wallpapers that I couldn't resist. Not wanting to let the tile go to waste is what made me want to design an onsen in the first place. The men's bath is a mirror image of the women's bath, just with blue tile and black accents as opposed to white to keep with the cool versus warm color schemes. After bathing and having a treat, guests can head upstairs to relax in the privacy of their own modern shoji rooms. Hanayumin's onsen welcomes many in and out bathers, but private rooms are available to rent as well. The left room is furnished for an overnight guest who's already eaten their dinner, ordered on their behalf by the onsen from the local eateries. Futons are kept in the wardrobe at the back of each room when not in use. The right room is organized for a professional meeting around the sunken hearth. Many important, and perhaps a bit shady, business decisions have been made in this room. Now downstairs is my favorite room. Only those who pay an extra fee may be permitted to the exclusive open-air natural hot springs nestled into the cliff side beneath and shaded by the building above. The building held above by sturdy wooden support beams <coughs> frozen pillars, also provides protection from the rain which makes a relaxing natural melody for unwinding bathers. Music is also available upon request. The cliffside shields bathers from any unfavorable winds blowing in off the ocean below. Summer patrons will be greeted by the beauty of hydrangeas embracing the springs in full bloom. Thank you so much for joining me today on this tour. I'll leave all my custom designs used here and creator code at the end of the video. Please feel free to send me any questions or comments and let me know if you're interested in more tours like this. I know it's not my usual time-lapse drawings or animations, but still it involves my creative expression and implements some custom art as well, so I hope you'll find some enjoyment in it. Ah, that was refreshing. Oh, well. <laughs>
here. This is awkward. Oh, and before I forget, I've been working on making some custom decals for switches and switch lights. Let me know what you think, and if you'd be interested in having some of your own. This decal is a digital collage of my traditional media artwork, Hanami de Mejira no Tamago, or in English, the warbling white eyes eggs at the cherry blossoms peak bloom. It was quite interesting trying to collage elements from the traditional media artwork and still make them look good together to make a horizontal formatted picture out of what was originally a vertical picture. I had to draw in some elements digitally, like the edges of the hair because they were cropped out of the original drawing, but I tried my best to match the texture of the colored pencil with digital media. I think it did a pretty okay job with that. I'm not sure if anybody can tell the difference. It was quite a challenge and really rewarding, I think, because this is the only decal like it in the world at the moment. I'm quite pleased. Let me know if custom decal commissions are something that you're interested in. Thank you! It's no good if it's no